دين الله ما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا تقول الله وكونوا مع الصادقين صدق الله العظيم الحمد لله الحمد لله دار الله سبحانه وتعالى has granted us the tawfiq and has enabled us and has allowed us to come to this musalla this place of worship and you know, some people, they have a difference of understanding, a difference of, you know, opinion in regards to programming like this. That in the masjid or in the musalla, you know, how is it that we come and we, you know, uh, gather with wrestling or ping pong or watch, you know, the football game or whatnot. But the reality of the matter is, is that in the time that we live in, the place that we live in, the current, you know, uh, uh, atmosphere living here in America, it changes from the perspective and the lifestyle of those that live in various other countries or even different states and communities. We live in a place where everything is being pushed towards us on a negative perspective, right? You go to school, <clears throat> aside from the education that you're, you know, attaining, what happens is that, you know, a, t a certain lifestyle is being pushed on you. Right? A certain type of uh, dress, a certain type of mentality, a certain type of, of uh, you know, overall lifestyle is being pushed on you. That's why we see many problems within the Muslim communities in regards to um, akhlaq, in regards to characteristics, in regards to salah, worship, ibadah with parents, treatment of parents, all these different, different things and other issues as well. By having these types of programmings, by having these type of or being you know catered for the for the muslims of these communities and this community this is a great actually a great blessing of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is not necessarily a time waster this is not necessarily a, a place where we're doing disrespect the reality is is that what is our intention and this should be our intention what is our intention our intention is that we gather the youth we gather the brothers and the sisters or whoever in the community and we have Halal programming, whereas if, for example, if this brother wasn't here today, he would watch the football game, possibly with, you know, some friends. What are those friends involved in? How are those friends? Where are those friends? Right? Let's go with our non-Muslim friends. You know, there's drinking, there's, there's uh, you know, unlawful uh, food, haram food, non-halal food, whatever type of gathering, you know, sit, they sit there. Right now, there's a halftime show. We know what takes place on a halftime show. It's singing and dancing and all the other stuff. Commercials, usually for beer commercials and, and, and you know, uh, cigarette commercials and all sorts of... But now we're here, we're sitting and we're talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, verses of the Qur'an, ayat of the Qur'an is being mentioned, right? Not too long ago, we prayed Salatul Asr, Salatul Maghrib is upon us, right? And I was speaking to one of the brothers that imagine being in a gathering outside of the Musalla or the Masjid and this takes place, right? It regardless, we would have watched the football game, right? We would have watched it perhaps with a, a, a non-practicing person or a person that's maybe not a Muslim, right? Or even with Muslims, but Salah time comes and we forget, wait, 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 well, five more minutes, three more minutes, almost a touchdown. Let me delay it as much as possible. But Alhamdulillah, we're able to pray in the Musalla, in Jama'at, Adhan took place, Salah took place, Wudu took place, right? That is a worship on its own. And then what happens is when you come and you continue with these programmings, what happens, that environment comes together. Allah says in the Quran, Ya ayyuha ladheena amanu taqullahu wa kunu ma'a sadiqeen. O you who believe, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, have the taqwa ilallah, have the, 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 the between of fear and uh, love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, have the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wa kunu ma'a sadiqeen, and sit with those that are pious, sit with those that speak the truth, right? Alhamdulillah, we're here. We're amongst the brothers. I was talking to one of the youngsters. All he was, him right here. All he was talking to me about was, you know, different uh, sheikhs and masjid. And I live by this masjid. My brother is this. He he did hivs, and you know, that's a great environment. You know, mashallah, we're talking. I was, talk I was just talking to br uh, brother Yawar, and he was talking about wrestling, and he was talking about his his hivs. And as soon as we walked in, he said, "Where can I buy this topi? So where can I buy this Islamic hat?" So alhamdulillah that from these gatherings, even though although the numbers are small, I think personally the whole entire community should be involved. But alhamdulillah that this is kind of what we have to encourage our masajid and our communities that we should have halal fun, 
bring the youth and in between have a little talk, have salat. One time, the most beautiful thing I, ever, I had ever uh, you know, witnessed was in our, our local masjid, we had a UFC watching. Right? We had a UFC watching. We also had a projector just like this. We had dividers because, you know, the place is much smaller. So we had like a little divider and on that side was a projector and watching the UFC fight. And there was people, there were people also from my own family that I can guarantee you never pray, uh, never pray or make sajda. But on that day, from Salatul Duhur to Salatul, I think Maghrib, we, I think we were there to Maghrib Salat, every single prayer, they made wudu and they prayed Bil Jamad. And let's say, inshallah this is not the case, but let's just say they don't make any other worship until the time they pass away. Inshallah, that little, those little, you know, those, those two, three prayers that they prayed, that little ibadah that they made, inshallah, inshallah, will become a sabab al nijat, will become a means of them entering to Jannah. From what? Watching a UFC fight. And the purpose was not the UFC fight. The purpose was, you know, and this comes from the intention of the organizers, that we intend for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sake that the youth come and they participate rather than going outside and going to these, you know, funny, funny places. Many people I know right now, they're at the Super Bowl, not at the Super Bowl, but they're at the Super Bowl viewing all around Las Vegas, Sin City. What do you think is going to take place? What do you think is going to take All types of crazy madness is going to take place. But we see that same exact... Super Bowl, we see that exact game, that exact pass, that exact fumble, touchdown, interception, whatever takes place, right? Right here, right? In a place where Salah will take place soon. Salah did take place, right? We come and, you know, mashallah, sports is being taken place. And this is, this is good for the body. Wrestling is good for the body, right? It's good for your health. Anything for your health, anything for your body is ultimately becomes a type of worship and ibadah. Same with the game, the, the, the table tennis. Right? And then even the watching of the football, it's just a gathering that comes together. So understand that it comes in a hadith, the Prophet says, Al Maru ala and I'll end with this inshallah so we can resume. But the Prophet said that a person, an individual, is on the way in the lifestyle or on the path of their friend. Let's say your best friend is a certain individual, non -practic non practicing Muslim. And you always hang out with this person, you always hang out with this person, ultimately that comes upon you, right? My wife, when she was in college, she said I had a roommate, I had a classmate, right? And that individual, that person, that girl, she was Muslim, right? Comes from an extreme religious fa family, but this girl started exploring in college. She started hanging out with people that uh, got into philosophy, philosophy and thought and you know all this uh, uh, those greek mythology type things ultimately she became atheist all for what she befriended certain groups of people she befriended a, t a certain type of professor she took more classes ultimately it became her means of deviation from deed not only did she not become you know at least you can say become a christian or a jew she left even that no thought there is no god so alhamdulillah that we're here, you know, we're on the path of deen, we're on the path of our, you know, mashallah and Islam. We're in the company of good people. We should encourage one, one individual, right? When we, when we used to, the last family night that took place, Brother Abdul Rashid, whoever was here, that individual used to have with his brother and another, Ali Atai, Sheikh Ali Atai, they used to have a, a little halaka. All it was was pizza, a little talk, and that was it. But so many people benefited. But from one thing that he used to say is that, okay, there's 10 people here today. Your responsibility is that the next program, each one of you have to bring one person. Each person has to bring at least one person. So those, that 10 becomes 20. Then same rule for the next week, the next time. That 20 now becomes 30 or whatever. It multiplies and multiplies. And wallahi, a time came that Masjid Muhajireen, for those that are familiar in, in, in Hayward, before the new expansion, the small one, it was packed to the rim, to the, uh, the inside of the masjid, the outside of the masjid, the little uh, office, upstairs for the sisters, the little side room, the hallways, it was jam-packed, right? Every single Friday night. Why? Because one person brought another person. So inshallah, we also make the intention that adult, young, you know, teenager, that for the next program that we have, inshallah, whether it's a youth night or even a other, uh, another type of style program, I think next week we'll have a few programs. The week after that, we're having a wrestling program. So inshallah, bring and encourage everyone to come to this. 
or these programs, right? It's beneficial and long-term, these are the people that you want to create a community with. Long-term, these are the, these, these individuals, these adults are the people now. They're the pioneers today. Tomorrow will be you guys, right? You're going to take over or you'll give your ideas. This community is yours. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the tawfiq and enable us in understanding that, and grant us the understanding that these programs are not just for fun. Not, yes, it's fun and entertainment is there. But what's the ultimate goal is to bring the community together. It's to bring all the Muslims together. I heard that there's, I don't know, 500, 600 Muslim homes or Muslim families that live in Mountain House. I mean, if you multiply that at least by two or even three or four, I mean, the number is large. The number is vast. But how many people are here today? Not even, a, not even a percent of a percent of a percent of a percent, right? So inshallah, we encourage everyone that next time we have a program, bring one person. And then, then another per another, another, the other event, un bring more, bring more, bring more. Try your best. Give da'wah, bring them in, inshallah. Inshallah, wa akhira da'wana, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. If there's any questions, we'll take some. Otherwise, I think maybe half time's over. Inshallah.